What's up YouTube, this is the Non-Respawn Gamer, and today I'm bringing y'all a PC free-for-all on Black Ops 2. Now, I'm actually going to be getting back into Non-Respawn Gaming. I feel like I'm decent enough now at PC, because most of y'all know I just started playing PC. I feel like I'm decent enough now at PC to where I can actually not die every 5 seconds in Non-Respawn. I actually have some search and destroy gameplay that I'm going to be bringing. Uh, one of them's a one on four. I get clutch and I get the win. And then uh, another one's just a full game where I did pretty good. But um, this game, I was winning pretty good towards the end. I think I was up by like five. And then some dude, he came back and um, he ended up being up. Because I was up like 26, 22, I think, somewhere around there. And I was like, man, I have a chance to win this thing. That's like the first time I ever had a chance to win a free-for-all on Black Ops 2 on PC. So I was pretty excited. I was literally like shaking. But then he ended up getting up like 28-26. And then I got back up to like 28-28. Then he got up 29. Then I tied it at 29. And I think he was camping. So if someone would have ran across his path, he probably would have won. But luckily for me, he didn't. And I ended up pulling out my first win. And it was like, I was like shaking. Because like, it was like my first win ever. That's what it felt like. It felt like my first win ever on a video game. So what I'm going to talk about today. Since that brought something up to me. My first gaming experience that got me into online gaming. It was back in like 2006, 2007. I just had an Xbox 360. I was in Korea. I bought an Xbox 360 just to play games because I enjoyed games when I was a kid. I didn't even know about online gaming. And some dude I worked with, he came. And he's like, man, do you have Xbox Live? I was like, what's that? He's like, oh, well, this, you play against people in the world? I was like, no. He's like, you should come up and try it. So I brought my uh, Splinter Cell Double Agent because Splinter Cell is my favorite series of all times. So I brought Splinter Cell Double Agent up there and... I put it into his Xbox as he had live. You know, this is back then when you didn't have codes to play online. And I put it in, in the first round I'm playing, and I don't know if y'all know, but in that game, if you grab someone from the back while you're a spy, you could talk into your mic and they could hear you. So I go up behind this person and I grab them, and I'm pumped. I'm like, yeah, I just snapped her. I just snapped their neck. And this girl comes over the microphone, and she's like, you asshole. Well, she's like, you asshole. My controller died on me. And I laughed so hard, because my first kill was because a controller died on some girl. But ever since then, man, I just was addicted to online gaming. Like, shooters and stuff, I only play online. Um, like, I like RPGs also. Like, I'll be bringing some... When I get back from deployment, I actually deploy in the beginning of July. I'll be back in the beginning of January. So don't unsubscribe because I will be bringing you more videos. For now on, I'm only going to release videos with commentary. I mean, you know, I've been releasing videos like every day. Just videos, but I figure I'd rather release a couple videos a week. Three or four with commentary than one every day with that. Because I think more people would rather prefer it with commentary. I probably will bring a couple, like, you know, mini clips and stuff still when I don't have time to do commentary. But <laughs> I'm going to be deploying. So I won't be uploading during that time. But when I get back, I plan on playing some uh, Dark Souls 2, definitely. Probably Call of Duty Ghost. The PS4 will probably be out then. So I'll probably have a PS4 and whatever third person shooters come out for that. Because, I mean, y'all know I like third person shooters than first person. I hope a great game comes out with some non-respawn like Ghost Recon Future Soldier and this is probably the only two games I really like respawn on and they're only they're only two games that really have non-respawn out uh, right now that are really popular um but yeah that just brought up my first gaming experience and I was laughing like at the end of this game man I was shaking in my boots like it was like the first time it was like the first time you ever tasted a candy cane when you were a kid. And you're like, oh, every time you get a piece of candy because you did something good, you were like, oh. And then I almost blew it. And I just couldn't believe it. I was like, man, I'm going to blow this because I'm shaking and I can't focus. I know. It's probably dumb. 
27 years old shaking over a video game but it was intense it was like my first time ever it felt like my first one ever in a video game because i've never did anything that good on pc um like i'm better at third person shooters like y'all saw some of my tomb raider videos and stuff i can pretty much hold my own in that but and uh when i first started playing black ops on pc i played it for a little bit and then I'd play it every now and then. Then I stopped playing it for a while because I just couldn't get the hang of first-person shooters on the PC. To me, it was just hard. And, I mean, still, I'm not the best you see here. I mean, I think I go 30 and 18. I mean, it's a respectable score, but I didn't dominate. You're going to see my horrible aim at some points, me getting stuck on stuff because I'm not the best with the controls and probably a lot of other dumb mistakes I make. But I'm actually having a lot of fun playing Black Ops, so I'll bring you some more. I'll still probably bring you some more Tomb Raider, um, and we'll just see what else. But yeah, so I'll try to release about three, four commentaries a week uh, until I deploy, and then I'll be stay. I'll release a video before I deploy to let y'all know when I'm leaving and coming back. Right now, I got about 40 subscribers. Thank y'all for subscribing, and thanks for the people that actually watch my channel. And I hope y'all stick around. Now this is. Right here is where it gets interesting because right here is when I'm like, oh man, I like, I actually have a chance to win this. But now I think I'm going to go on a little death streak right here. And this dude's going to catch back up to me. Got oh, my bouncy betty out. My bouncing betty out. So you know, I just rush around, run around as hard as I can, and just try to kill as many people as I can. I see horrible aim right there. But he's catching up now. I'm getting real nervous. Look at that. Professional aim right there. If you want to learn how to aim, just watch my videos. Tips and tricks on how to aim on the PC. Watch my videos, son. Get hit with a Predator missile. And this dude's just going to make a comeback. Cause I just go on a death streak. I think that's the dude right there. Yep. That's the dude right there. But I think at the end of the game, he was actually camping somewhere. Maybe he wasn't. Maybe he just went on a death streak, too. I really don't know. But, um... So, I think he's going to end up getting up 28-26, like I said. And then I'm going to tie it up, and it's just down to the wire. And um, at the very last kill, there's a bouncing Betty. And I'm like, should I shoot the bouncing Betty or just take a chance? And I just popped out, and I ended up killing this dude that was shooting at someone else. So, um, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope y'all enjoyed my channel. I hope I can make it better for y'all with my commentaries. I'll be commentating on a bunch of different stuff. Like I said, I got some search and destroy videos that I'm going to be posting up. Because that's what I like. I like non-respawn. But I was really just playing respawn just to get the hang of it. Because um, that's what I needed to do. Because I was dying like every five seconds on search and destroy. And it's the thing about PC for me is I overcompensate a lot. That's my problem. Like I think it's a lot harder to overcompensate at first than it is with a controller because with a controller if someone's running you really can't overcompensate them because you just hold it to the left and it pretty much follows them or on the pc it just seems a lot easier to overcompensate at least to me it does i'm sure i'll get better with time yeah see this dude yeah right there so i'm winning right now 29 28 no 29 29 tied it up right there and here it is there's a bouncing betty he knew i was coming Bam, son. Just juiced him. Have a good day, YouTube.